What's up plant lovers, Devin is here and today we're going to be talking about another ground cover. If you haven't seen some of my other ground cover videos such as the creeping thyme, ice plant, and sedum, check the links in the description below for those sun loving ground covers. Today we're going to be talking about Corsican mint, Mentha requenii. Now this is one of my favorite ground covers for the more shady, moist areas around the garden. As you can see, it has wonderful fluffy foliage that actually handles the foot traffic very well. And as a member of the Lamacia mint family, it has exceptional aromatic foliage that tends to keep the deers away. Now, when we're talking about using ground covers, we like ground covers that stay nice and thick and dense, have such a nice dense compact growth that they don't allow weeds to grow through them. And that is exactly what this Mentha requenii, the Corsican mint, will give you in your garden because once you start growing this, as it takes hold, it will spread rhizomatically under the ground, filling out a nice, thick, dense area. However, if you hear me say the word mint and you, and you automatically get a light bulb in your head, mint, I was always told never to grow mint in the garden. Well, this is actually a non-invasive style of mint. Other mints out there are very aggressive, but this one tends to really stay pretty nice and tamed while creating a wonderful coverage at the same time. As you can see behind me, I have just finished planting a bunch of little plants all over this little garden. Now where I've situated this in my garden bed is this is on the north side of my home and it is in an area that actually, when it rains, there's a lot of water that comes down and kind of nestles in this area. Those are a couple of the cultural requirements that these plants really need to thrive. Number one, they need quite consistent moisture. Number two, they do like at least a half day of shade, but will even do well in even more shade, such as at the north side of your home. Another thing about this mint that is so exceptional is that it will tolerate pretty much all different types of soil, including sand, loam, or even heavy clay. So for those of you like me that have lots of heavy clay around your yards, this is a great option for those shady moisture areas. Now, I live in zone 6B in eastern Pennsylvania in Chester County, and this is hardy. This is noted to be hardy down to zone five. So this is a perfect candidate to plant right in the ground in your gardens as long as you're in zone fives till about, I would say zones nine. Anywhere warmer than that, you got some other ground covers that would be perfect in your area. So how do we go about planting it and situating it in our garden beds? There's typically going to be two main ways that you'll find the Corsican Mint sold at garden centers and retailers like my family's company, Roberta's Gardens. We sell them in these trays, these six pack trays, and these are in my opinion the easiest and best way to go about planting them. But you might also find them just in larger pots like this. So with a tray it's pretty self-explanatory. Just pop them out and separate them. Now, if you do see that they've grown together, just rip them apart. No harm, no foul, they'll be just fine. But if you do find them just sold as a single pot like this, the best thing to do is just take your hands and kind of break it apart. And you're literally just going to rip it into chunks. And the chunks that you like to rip them into are probably around a three to four inch chunk just like that. And now this pretty much resembles the same as those cells that were in that tray. So from this one round container, let's see how many I can get. Two, that's three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, when you are ripping them apart like this, the most important things to take note of, two requirements for these to be successful. Number one, they need to have some growth on top, and number two, they need to have some roots on bottom. So if you accidentally grabbed some like this, which has just very little top growth and very, and but a lot of roots, this is probably not gonna be a viable plug. It might be, and I'll still try to plant it, but chances are this will not take, however, these guys with lots of nice top foliage and roots are going to work a-okay. Okay, and once you have all of your individual plants, 
Then you just go into your flower beds, into your borders, along your walkways, um, even in between your stepping stones because this is a very nice foot traffic friendly ground cover. So if you do plant it between stepping stones, it will continue to be all right. Now I'm typically going to space these at about 12 inches apart. Each one of them can spread around 12 inches um, over the course of two to three seasons. So give them a little room to grow. Um, in this flower bed, I also have coral bells and hellebores. So that's kind of a nice trio that'll be going on. And you can kind of start to get a better feel of what sort of conditions that the Corsican mint likes. Coral bells, hellebores are wonderful companions. And just start kind of placing them artistically as, uh, as it seems right to your eye. And as always, while we're planting on our flower beds, we want to avoid stepping on our flower beds as much as possible. We want to keep our soil as light and airy as, and fluffy as possible. So minimize the amount of foot traffic. It can be quite challenging, but just keep it in mind. And then once you have them all placed in, just take your little trowel, make a nice little hole. You can see how nice and rich and moist this soil is. Could even break those roots up just a little bit. Place it in, pack it down, and voila. And of course, very importantly, make sure you water your plants in well after you've planted them. I always try to strategically do my planting after we've had a nice spring shower which we just got done pouring. I don't need to worry about watering mine. That's called smart gardening. Well and as you can see I've planted about 30 or 40 so far and I have a few more to go. Definitely my best recommendation is when you're planting ground covers especially like this Corsican mint it's always to plant in numbers. The more you grow the better it will look in your garden creating a nice cohesive ground layer. Right now we're in the middle of March, so we'll revisit this garden in a couple months to see how it's looking, to give you guys an update on how this beautiful Corsican mint has started to fill out my nice, shady, moist garden. All right, so here we are at the beginning of June, and you can see that the Corsican mint is starting to look pretty nice, along with the coral bells, the hellebores, and I added a nice layer of arborist wood chips a couple weeks ago to really help lock in the moisture while that mint is establishing. Now this mint underneath the hellebore, which is obviously the most shaded mint in the garden, looks pretty darn good. And <clears throat> the incredible thing is that every time you touch it, it just releases the most aromatic perfume of mint fragrance you've ever smelled. So that's just an added bonus. And you can see that they're all starting to really root in really nicely. Um, they haven't grown a whole heck of a lot, but they are establishing themselves. And over the next couple years, they'll definitely fill in much more. Now, some of those that I had uh, just torn apart that didn't have big root systems look a little bit less nice, but they have rooted in and they're going to slowly continue to catch up to those other ones that are already looking nice. So in the next three years, you'll have no, you won't notice any difference between those and the ones that look nice today. Overall, I'm quite satisfied with how it's performing. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see how it continues to fill out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on Corsican Mint, a wonderful ground cover for our moist, shady gardens. If you do still have any further questions or comments, make sure to leave them below. I always do my absolute best to answer each and every one of them. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel. We're bringing new plant-related, plant-inspired content every single week. Thank you guys for joining me here on Plant Vibrations. I'll catch you soon. Ciao.